Hello everybody and welcome back to Esports Talk. My name is Caleb and today we're looking at some rather serious allegations levied at the founder and CEO of Team Solo Mid, aka TSM, Reginald, who was recently announced to be under investigation by Riot Games. While we can't know for certain the details of the investigation, both Riot and TSM are of course being very tight-lipped about things given that the investigation is still ongoing, it's time to take a look at what we do know. As reported on by Wired, who spoke directly to Riot Games, a law firm has been contacted to launch an independent investigation, which is currently ongoing. Riot, as quoted in the article, had this to say, We are aware of the allegations made about the CEO slash owner of TSM. As the league operator, we have engaged the law firm of O'Melvany and Myers LLP to conduct an independent investigation into claims of misconduct made against the leader of this team, in accordance with the standard league process. The reveal of an official investigation on the part of Riot is a pretty big deal, although we can't say for certain at this juncture what kind of actions, if any, will be taken and when. However, allegations of this nature are really nothing new within the space. Back in November of last year, Doublelift took to Twitter to make some statements mending his frustrations about exactly this same situation. Stating, quote, Reading people's anecdotes that Andy was nice to them and thus downplay the fact that he harassed and abused people at TSM as their boss is just so disgusting. No wonder people don't feel good about speaking up about their abusers. I'm not talking about hand waveable things like being a dick or being rude. So many people experience public humiliation, mental breakdowns, crying at work, and still people will play it off in whatever way they can. People in power can get away with anything, it seems. Personally, I'm in the boat of people who wasn't affected or traumatized, so it took me a while to empathize too. I hope one day extremely sh people will have to deal with the consequences of how they treat others instead of getting a pass simply because they're successful. He also talked about this on stream while discussing why he no longer wanted anything to do with TSM. Oh yeah, I don't know. Honestly, I hate TSM because, mostly because of Andy. I actually remember this now, yeah. Sword Art called me afterwards and said, I'm coming to TSM, are you sure? You, like, like he, he still wanted to play with me and then he still wanted to play with me and then uh, I called Andy and told him, yeah, Sword Art still wants to play with me. Um, and I would love to, you know, continue to play for the org. And Andy literally said no, because he's got too much of an ego. While there's not a lot that can be said for certain at this point, stories like this are nothing new within the esports scene by any means. We've talked a lot recently about all the allegations levied at Activision Blizzard in regards to how they treat their workers, and there are plenty of other players talking about plenty other orgs that have similar experiences to share. Taking a look at Twitter once again, we can look at New York Sublinus Clayster, who responded to the article, breaking down the news and sharing a story of his own. Had this happened for years on one of the most famous esports teams. Within 60 seconds of a loss, I'd have to answer a phone call or get fined money, and when i pick it up, it would legit be me getting screamed at for 30 to 60 minutes by this investor dude. Pretty pathetic. Maybe you're just not where you need to be, talent-wise. Why do we spend money on a team that can't win a match? Do you think the reason you suck is your leadership or your skills? Explain to me how you're worth it. For those asking why I don't just expose, the specific guy I'm talking about got outed from the company after I left. No reason to slander the org when they're already taking action. Just recalling how it legit happens all the time to really anyone. There's no guarantee on when we'll get an official update from anybody, whether it's TSM or Riot, on this investigation, but rest assured, when news does break, we will be there to give you an update and ensure you stay well informed. In the meantime, however, how do you folks feel about this situation? Are you surprised to hear more allegations of abuse within esports? Are you surprised to see it levied at Riot Games, who has, of course, been the subject of allegations themselves before? Do you expect anything good is going to come from this investigation? Is it going to be any time soon? And is this your first time hearing news about TSM? in particular, Riot Games in particular, anything specific here, is it news to you? Things like this aren't really all that uncommon, but hopefully with more and more exposure, they can trend to becoming rarer and rarer. But for the time being, like I said, that's all we've got. Thank you for joining us today. Once again, we'll be back again next time, the minute that there's more news. Till then, my name is Caleb. Thank you for joining us.